Hello the people on the YouTube. This is very strange because there's a lot of Israelis standing right there looking at me. And uh, not in a threatening way, they're just standing there waiting to see what I do, which I don't know. I just know that uh, I never want to leave here, ever, because uh, this is fun. I did have some wet dreams about this last night, which is why I'm here. Um, this is from, but I never can remember the name of the company, which is kind of like, you know, why I now have to tell you. Uh, I'm gonna say MacMull. Right there. It's the MacMull mustache, right there. So, wh what's the deal? Other than that the headstock is an acquired taste. Um, well, yeah, they're S-type guitars. Then again, I'm independent, I don't work for anyone. I think I can call this a Strat without anyone ripping me a new one. So, this S-type guitar and this, these T-type guitars are technically nothing special. We've seen the design around, only that this is literally the best one I've ever played. Yes, I have LSLs and they're neat. And I have the new Nick Johnson signature from Schecter, which is, fuck it, a neat guitar. Those are great boutique level instruments. What they're doing is giving you a brand new guitar Yes, this is new. I didn't do this. It's, I, they, they did that, okay? I didn't fuck it up. They did. Um, they're giving you a brand new guitar that actually has the level of a guitar from 1960 Hubble. I don't know. Apparently there's difference between 62 and 60 something and others. I don't give a flying rat's ass. But those guitars that have been aged, they, they've seen, you know, they've been around the block. They do sound different. I saw a thing in a magazine once where they took a very, very good Strat and sent, played it and sent it through a spectrography meter and then an old guitar. And the spikes in the level of all the resonances were, were ridiculous. Now, how do you get that in a new guitar? Uh, you build it and you wait 50 years. That's how you get that. And you have good, good players playing it. You can't just throw that somewhere, okay? You have to have good players playing it to break it in. Now, what they're doing is a combination of some of these. A, the wood is 5,000 years old. No, 70, right? Similar. So 70 year old wood. So the wood is as old as these old guitars would be. And they are picking a body and they're measuring it with some doohickeys and thingamajigs and they're prodded and send it through an, I don't know, MRI machine, I don't know. Stuff they do in Israel. And then they do the same thing with the neck. And if, if it's not a good match in terms of resonance, they put the neck away and they wait till they get a neck that works. A lot of patience in this process. So they build a shitload of necks and a shitload of bodies and a shitload of fretboards and then they play Tetris and find the ones that match in terms of resonance. Sounds all kind of heady and intellectual, but it makes total sense. And then they are screwed up in the head and they go and say, now we're gonna actually make the pickups that emphasize those resonant frequencies. Yeah, but what does it sound like? Fucking insane. I've never had an S-type guitar with that kind of sustain, that kind of tone, that kind of holy shit. I'll play a bit and then you decide. I, you cannot hear anything by the way because we're at Messe. Um, I have an idea. Come down with me. Follow me. Don't look at my crotch. Do not look at my crotch. Ah, oh, thank you. Helpful people. So now we should actually be able to hear the amp more direct. Which is, by the way, a Fender Deluxe Hummer. I slipped, it's not the guitar, it was me. If you do this, the best guitar in the world cannot sound great if you do this. Then again, actually, this sounds pretty damn great on this guitar. It's a percussive kind of thing. It's built in. Doesn't cost extra.
Dynamics. Holy fuck. This is just this pickup. I would never ever have to play more than that. This is all I need. Actually, no, but still. You can even play Wonderball on this, check this out. It is Wonder Wall compatible. So let's change. I, I just came a little bit in my pants. Major seven, what the fuck? I slipped. This was just two positions. We're gonna skip the middle because we don't like that. Oh, that's a country heaven out there. I can't play that anymore. But this, this is the one where shit happens. Check this out. Um, we're gonna pick a new chord. We're gonna go with something G-ish. Oh, yeah. It is completely ridiculous how good this is. Uh, and I've played many an S-Type. Uh, I've held custom shop John Cruz Master Builder guitars in my hands, um, which were nice guitars, don't get me wrong. This is uh, definitely a different level. Thomas Blug was here yesterday, I dragged him over, and Thomas was like, yep, not too shabby. And Thomas has guitars from the 60s, okay, so he knows how, what they're supposed to sound like. This is pretty damn impressive. Now, how much do you have to pay for this? Well, they want your firstborn child uh, and your mom, so you have to send them over. No, uh, it'll clock in at about 45. I, I, what am I sitting on this hurting my ass? Oh, drugs, good, good. Um, for all the work and the very expensive old wood and their knowledge and brilliance, McMahon wants 4,500 bucks for this guitar. Yeah, I know for a bolt-on Strat. That's, that's definitely the upper price range. It's not the insane price range yet, but the upper price range. But what you're getting, and I'm not shitting you, 
is the best S-Type you've ever played in your life. Now, obviously, this is beat up to shit. So you can say, well, why isn't this cheaper? They even aged the tremolo block. This is uh, very, very cool. Hey, what strings are on here? Dario NYXL. Dario. See, because they know good shit. Balanced tension or normal? Normal ones. Get the balanced tension because they rock. Okay, okay now uh, Dario, you know where to send the money, okay? Payable too. You, you know where to find me. No, they have. That, that's why this sounds so good. It's not the guitar, it's the strings. <laughs> Um, so no, this is beautifully aged, but we have, uh, let me show you one if you don't want the aged thing. Ah. I'm careful, I'm careful. Don't, don't worry. So this feels not new, but it's not, you know, cracked and all this. It feel, um, it, but it has a slightly, I'm going to call it roasted maple, is that correct? No? What is that? It's just, it, it, it would be like, just sand in the lacquer with feel. It's okay. Sand, and it's still the neck. So it's slightly tinted. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. This has like a kind of a sunbursty thing going on in every fret, if you can see that. Um, so this is newer. I mean, this is aged, okay. But definitely not, not cracked in all this. Um, again, you know, also good. Fuller even, more more meaty. <laughs> do nothing other than that. You're happy. Good. You could do A2. actually plug the E string if you want the E string, not the B string. So if you do this, you hold your finger here and you plug the B string, it's not the note that you want. This is the note I want. There you go. because it rocks different chunkier but also good let's do the back here that's what she said uh. Check out their website, which uh, I'll show you. And um, if you ever have a chance to take one in your hands, do it, because... Forget about the headstock. Just ignore the headstock. The sound is what matters. McMull, crazy guys from Israel. Who would have thought? Come on, who would have thought? See you guys. Stop moving.